Hi everyone, it's Kira again. I'm here to read you a nice little Easter book. The best Easter egg hunt ever. On a warm spring day in the tall green grass, a little grey rabbit was sniffing the air. It was Easter day. It was egg hunt time. Mother rabbit said, there are lots of eggs to find. There are stripy eggs, spotty eggs, sky blue eggs, pale pink eggs, and eggs as bright as buttercups. I want a special egg, said Rabbit. And off she hopped to see what she could find. What do you think she'll find, friends? Down in the barnyard, Chick was hopping around a haystack. Please help me, Rabbit, he cheeped. I can't reach that egg. Rabbit hopped onto the haystack in one leap. Nestled in the hay was a sky blue egg, just like mum said. I haven't got much, said Chick, but I can give you some feathers to say thank you. Rabbit touched the feathers into her basket and off she hopped. Over in the meadow, Butterfly had found a tiny egg as bright as a buttercup. The flowers waved in the breeze and the air was full of bees. Rabbit hopped with happiness. She followed a buzzing bee and nibbled a yellow green leaf. She picked a bunch of spring flowers. How nice is that, friends? Oh, Rabbit laughed. I almost forgot about finding an egg. And off she hopped. Up on the hillside, lambs bounced and bounded. Rabbit looked for an egg in the treetops and in the hedgerows. She found some scraps of sheep wool stuck in the brambles but she didn't find a single egg. So off she hopped. In the sunlit woodland, Rabbit heard a squeak. I can't dig up this egg, said Mouse. I'll help you, said Rabbit. I can dig. Scrap, scratch, dig, burrow. Wow, breathed Mouse, looking at the giant egg. It's bigger than our whole mouse hole. And Mouse gave Rabbit some tasty grass to say thank you. That was nice. Rabbit's ears drooped. Mouse found a very special egg, she sighed. But I haven't found any eggs. Rabbit didn't feel like hopping anymore. She sat down by the duck pond. Oh, she looks a bit sad, doesn't she? And there, by the water's edge, was an egg. But it wasn't big or bright. Spotty or stripy, pink or blue or yellow. It was small and dull and white. It doesn't look very special, said Rabbit. Rabbit touched the egg with her paw. <gasps> oh, she whispered, it's warm. What do you think is gonna happen? A cold breeze blew, Rabbit shivered. Don't worry, little egg, she said, I'll keep you warm. And Rabbit emptied out her basket. She took the stalks of grass and the sweet flowers and wove them together. She shaped a little cup. She lined it with warm wool and soft feathers and she made a nest. And when the egg was safe and warm, Rabbit curled up close by. She was tired after her long day. Soon she was fast asleep. Peep, peep that noise? Peep, peep. It was coming from inside the egg. The egg wobbled and rocked in the nest and all the time it went peep, peep, until quick, out came a beak and crack, out came a duckling. How cute, friends. Quack, quack. Mother Duck swam to shore. Oh, thank you, she said, my egg. I've been looking for it all day. Rabbit smiled. I'm glad I found this egg, she said. It's the most wonderful Easter egg of all. Thanks for listening, friends. See you next time.